Yes, humans are the most precious creatures in the world, but yet when it comes to a repetitive and routine work, humans are sometimes not that reliable. So we do need automation or instrument to help. If we don't adopt technology and embrace change and improve efficiency, then unfortunately uh, human nature means that we will be left behind. So I always curious how Chinese medicine work. As trained as biochemist, so I thought that I can further to understand TCM. So Nick Yang was founded originally. We want to pursue in TCM research in the laboratory. We see more and more issues in the standard operating procedures that mainly due to manual labor. So we thought that, okay, in order to make these data more reliable, we need to use scientific instruments in order to prove the efficacy or the effect of TCM on human body. So then we continue with more on the automation side to try to solve that problem. We are coming into an age of fast development, which means we need to have faster product cycle, we need bigger and deeper and faster R&D. So without the qualified uh, automation or, or, or laboratory procedure, you can never achieve that. So the term we like to use is democratizing robotics. The bigger manufacturing companies could use robots and automation equipment very readily because they could afford to invest in the technology. But those smaller businesses were really left behind. And so what we decided to do is give them a tool that enables them to easily automate their uh, everyday activities in a very, very flexible, easy to use, affordable way. What we created as our launch product is our modular arm. What our robot is, is it has six joints. So it has six degrees of freedom is what we call it. It is highly flexible and it can move to any point in space from any position. And what's different about our arm is the modularity enables our arm to be longer or shorter depending on the application. The real aim is not really to replace the workforce. We always see it as being a tool which will add value to the business. So we find that uh, it's a good thing uh, generally for uh, society to embrace this, this level of technology. A pioneer is somebody who will fully utilize whatever limited resource he has and make the best out of it. For those young people who are looking to go on this journey, I would say that it's a very, very difficult journey to go on. It's rewarding as well. It's very important to make sure you, you stay true to what you believe in.